Assalamu alaikum once again welcome back to my channel education is the key to success and it is okay. this time we will be again working on Katya <laughs> but the part is different one this is a sketch given this is in a pipe bracket will be so we will be going to start from this part now you can see that this is of radius 42.5 and will be 85 diameter and this side is of uh, radius 15 that is diameter 30 and yeah, we'll, this will be just by uh, joining by tangent lines and then removing the other side and these inner circles are just like these circles and their radiuses are given there so we'll be going to work that and this uh, circle center is just uh, how much away it is i think so 75 millimeter away from that so okay but before starting it i have made that part i should show you that just you can see you can see this part as well and you can see this part as well and yeah. okay now we're going to work on this this will begin start mechanical design part design okay going to work in xy plane sketch circle of 85 diameter what i told you earlier so let me set this diameter 85 millimeter and uh, this is gonna be other circle on the same line of a diameter of 30 and our distance with this line of 75 millimeter and connecting these circles by the tangent lines Selecting this line, this line, and this circle. I'm going to mirror it on the perpendicular axis. Now, I'm going to trim the inner parts. So, you see, we have done that. And then I told you to make the circles small circles and it's this one red circle so with that diameter of 12 millimeter and diameter is 12 but you see that that is this sign is that 5 millimeter and this padding is also just 5 millimeter so when we'll be going so that's why i am drawing these holes too right now that when i will give them um, of uh, <coughs> padding of five millimeter this will be actually going to have the depth of five millimeter too so okay i was telling you that this is these are two holes with a diameter of 12 millimeter so stating it's diameter 12 going to mirror it on the perpendicular axis making an other circle okay which circle we are going to draw right now this one is inner circle of diameter 71 I will let you know when I will be going to draw this circle of 75 millimeter so setting its diameter of 71 okay <clears throat> now exit the workbench give it a padding of 
5 mm yeah i got this now go to the yz plane sketch option not yz plane is it the workbench go to zx plane and this is now what i'm going to have i'm going to have line of 170 i will let you know why i'm doing that One seventy mm line. You can zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to have a again horizontal line of length of one seventy millimeter. I will selecting its endpoint, pressing the control button, setting the endpoint of this end, uh, having coincidence. Now, let me tell you, this is 170, 170, and I'm going to join it by the radius, this line and this line of radius of one twenty. Exit the workbench. Now going to XY plane and sketch option. You can little bit zoom in, making again the circle seventy five millimeter diameter. Uh, I will confirm it also on the sketch, and I will draw the reason of that one seventy millimeter two lines. <clears throat> but before I think I should do this Let's press control Z. I don't want the circle. I want the circle to be 3d Okay, now I'm going to make this circle You can see the consequences by drawing it without having 3d projection so this is 75 millimeter okay so i drawn this circle 75 millimeter and by letting this 71 diameter circle into 3d projecting now i'm going to tell you the reason that why i've selected you can see that from here this is 50 millimeter of a length from here it is of uh, 50 millimeter again length till here and then these are just uh, having the radius of 120 so if it is from here to 120 then it will be here to here from 120 so that is from here to uh, from this point if you go this side and go to this this is also 120 so this 50 and this 120 is going to 170 and this 120 and this 50 is going to have 170 then we have curve you can say corner radius here of 120 millimeter and actually you will be going to have this 50 straight and 120 curved line of radius uh, 120 millimeter radius okay then why i draw this uh, yes this was from this part we gone that is going to be done okay now you can go to other part and select the optional rib and select the center curve this is our center curve and yes that is what we need so you have seen how beautifully we have done this okay now you have to zoom in more 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 and control and arrow key because i want to select uh, this plane yes that you should make clear that these two lines are selected. This plane is selected actually. Go to sketch option. Now you can have a little bit. So again now I am having this I'm going to project 3D. Okay. After that 
and I'm going to draw this circle diameter this is of <coughs> this large circle we will be curving this of diameter 125 from its center take the circle so you can see that they are from center diameter of 125 okay and now go to exit workbench and now again going to have padding and padding in reverse direction of 5 millimeter so you can see what will happen if you will not be having the padding in the reverse direction by doing that I have no more time to show you the things I am going to just make this okay 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 so now I am going to select this line going to chamfer option where is chamfer here it is and you can have these features by going to sketch based features and dress up features this will show you okay I am having chamfer of 3 millimeter okay you can see this I will let you know I will be having this chamfer of 3 millimeter okay now I want to have this side this will be again going to have chamfer of 3 millimeter okay go to your sketch okay now 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 what we're going to do you can see this this are two that means this and this one three and 45 degree chamfer angle is 45 degree that is already selected and uh, three minutes we have done okay we and now we should go again back to that part on which we were working this select this face and go to sketch option <clears throat> so I am having a point so this is not a point this is a point and it should be 220 from the reference line okay let me show you why we are having this 220 you are seeing that this is 100 <coughs> it is it is 100 of radius you can diameter so this means that from this line to this line it is 100 and other is I think so 110 is other part so 110 plus 100 is 120 where we have these we need these circles in that center so <coughs> going to work on that Go to as it workbench. Go to make hole. For hole, you select the plane on which you need. Go to position sketching. Select this and passing the door button. Select this point what we have made, and just click uh, on these constraints. Define and have coincidence of them. Now you can exit workbench. Okay, we are going to have this circle, the hole of nine millimeter diameter and depth is of I think five millimeter. I will show you from this sketch also. And type is countersunk and that angle is uh, we should change this. We should be having angle and diameter. So angle is 90 degree and diameter is 17. Point three of counter sunk and thread definition we do not need to change that we have position we have diameter depth okay 
I will let you show you. Yes, we have this one. Okay, this hole is of diameter diameter nine millimeter. These are six instances and in depth we have selected of five millimeter. And when we go to the this is the given that it is it will be countersunk and diameter will be 17.3 and angle is 90 degree what we have done there okay 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 so now the left part i think is only that we need to have countersunk uh, sorry countersunk we have we may need to make six instances go to this part body and drop down menu select the whole one and just go to this rectangle pair i have, uh, can show you from insert menu and uh, here is transformation and circular pattern uh, we need uh, six instances and so in the whole circle so six 360 divide, uh, degrees the whole circle so divided by six will be 60 degree uh, in the uh, angular spacing between each hole and we need to select the reference element reference element will be this plane and we are going to have six instances that is what we need so you can see that we have made it we can show you by rotating also we have made it yes we have made it this is you can see is actually and exactly like that so that is what today we were going to supposed to do so thank you for watching and love bless you keep supporting showing love by commenting and expressing your views that will motivate me to do work more and allah hafiz